Turning back to politics now, award-winning actor and St. Louis native John Hamm is voicing a new political ad on behalf of U.S. Senate candidate Lucas Kuntz, a Democrat hoping to unseat Missouri Republican Josh Hawley this November. Take a look. Manhood. You'd hope that means courage. Courage isn't something you can give speeches or write a book about. It's not sitting on the sidelines while others sacrifice or denying help to those who did. It isn't putting people down or trying to control them or using your own power for profit or ambition. In Missouri, you can't fake courage. We're the show me state. Courage is something you have to show us. It shows in the working class people that pitch in to help the family next door bankrupted by medical bills. It shows in the Marine who signed up to honor and serve the community that took care of him. It shows when a Missourian stands up to the powerful, when he fights to rebuild his state, to empower people, to secure our future. If you want to be told about manhood, some guy wrote a book about it. But if you want someone to show you courage, send Lucas Coots to the Senate. Jen Palmieri, uh, Lucas Coots, uh, that's his second really powerful ad that I've seen so far this cycle. Uh, the question is, in Missouri, uh, does he have a shot? I mean, Missouri is a tough state, right? Um, uh, Jason Kander had really good ads um, in Missouri as well. Also, also a veteran, um, and you know, he did not uh, he did not succeed in, in winning his and winning his Senate race. Um, but at some point, you know, voters have free will. And mm. at some point, you know, we talked about in the earlier segments how facts matter, how the fact, the fact that, um, the fact that Comer is not coming up with any facts to prove his allegations about the Biden family, that matters. Uh, Trump being held accountable uh, from, but for what he says, what he says matters. It has consequences, and you know, Josh Hawley is, you know, we. The footage of him running out of the Capitol, the, the footage of him, things that are at odds with what he claims to be and then how he votes, how he represents Missouri, how he acts in a time of crisis like we're seeing right now. Um, you know, those mm. things do still matter to to voters. So in, could this happen in Missouri? Sure. A good candidate running a great campaign and he's off to a good start. Uh, when you have someone on the other side that is racking up hypocrisies. Um, I think that that can still matter. Yeah, well, uh, also, obviously, when you have somebody on the other side that uh, took an active part in uh, stirring people up to overthrow the United States government, uh, like Josh Hawley did, uh, to riot that day, uh, who tried to overthrow a presidential election, yeah, I would hope uh, the people of Missouri might actually just give a damn about that. Let's bring in Pulitzer Prize-winning columnist and associate editor of The Washington Post, Eugene Robinson, Gene, you saw the ad. What do you think? I thought it was a really good ad. <laughs> it's a really good ad. I mean, it, it, it uh, and it, you know, it goes right at Holly's uh, manhood thing, which is, uh, I guess, I, I don't know what he's trying to do with this, but um, I'll, I'll tell you, he's not exactly a Schwarzenegger, um, uh, and. Um, it's he's a he's a terrible senator. Uh, I I think he his record. Uh, we've seen what he did on January six. We've seen um, his record in the Senate, which is quite undistinguished. And uh, so let's see if Coons can do it. Missouri is a tough state, as uh, as Jen said. Uh, it's a very red state. But um, Josh Hawley, you know, we'll see if he could be a vulnerable candidate running for re-election.